this video, I'm going to show you how to download Landsat 8 imagery data from the USGS Earth Explorer program. So let's get started. All right. So uh, first I'm going to go here to DuckDuckGo to do a quick search. And I'm going to search for Earth Explorer USGS. And the first hit I get as soon as it's done loading is the USGS Earth Explorer website. So I'm going to click here. Right, and that should take you to this website. So this is the, the web interface and you can zoom in and out here with the, the mouse wheel or by clicking here on, on zoom in and out. Uh, and this basically allows you to explore the map and then pick a location for where you want to download your data. Uh, I do recommend creating an account because you, you will need this to be able to download the data. Uh, so as you can see, I'm already logged in. So once you come here for the first time, create an account and log in and you should be good to go. All right, so next I'm going to pick a spot that I want to try to find my, my imagery for. And I'm going to go here to South America and here in the Andes, there's this, uh, the, uh, the salt plains in Bolivia called Uyuni. And these make for some nice imagery. So I'm going to get something from there. So once you've found the place that you want to, to search for, you have a couple of options. So one, we can click here on the, on the map and that would put a pin. We can also draw a rectangle and that'll get you any images that, that uh, intersect with that rectangle. But since I'm looking for a particular place, I'm going to just drop one pin. Uh, the other thing you can filter by is the, the date, so start and end date. So let's see, uh, I want to look for anything that was uh, between January 2020 and January 2021, right? And we can also restrict by month, right? So I'm going to look for things here towards the end of the year. So let's look at um, December and let's see what we can find. So you can also select more months. Another thing that we can filter our results by is cloud cover. So if I click here on cloud cover, I can specify a minimum and a maximum allowed range for cloud coverage. Uh, so let's say I want at most 30% cloud coverage in my images. All right, next I'm going to the data sets tab and then I'm going to find Lensat, then Lensat collection two, and I'm going to select Lensat eight uh, OLI NTIRS collection two level two data. And this is gonna give me surface reflectance and surface temperature images instead of giving me top of the atmosphere reflectance. All right, so once that is done, we can click on results. And then after searching for a little while, um, the website is going to return to us a list of images that match our criteria. So the required cloud coverage and also uh, within the, the particular date bounds that, that, we, that we asked for. So let's, for example, let's look at this one. One thing that we can do here is click on this little foot and that'll show us the footprint of the scene on, to, on the map here. So as we can see, this particular scene covers exactly the salt plane, which is what we want. And if I want to view, uh, have a preview of the level one data for this scene, I can click here on this little image and that will show me, uh, this is a, a true color composite of the level one data. So as you can see, it's the salt plains and they are full of water at this time of year, which is really nice. All right, so let's say this image matches our criteria and I want to download it. What, what you can do is click here on the download button and if you click on product options uh, and you will have to be logged in to be able to click on this button. So you can either download all the images as a single archive that, that's kind of big. So this is 867 megabytes or you can download each band individually as well as some of the metadata files. What I would recommend is downloading the bands individually unless you're downloading quite a lot of images. The reason for that is that if the download for the archive fails for some reason, then you have to restart the download of this uh, massive thing. 
Uh, if you download the bands individually, then you only need to re-download the particular bands that fail. So I, I would highly recommend downloading individual bands and only downloading the bands that you actually need for your analysis. So for example, I could download here band one, band two, band three, band four, and you can just download them individually by clicking on the download button here. All right, so once I click this, uh, after a little while, the little download dialog should pop up. So let's come back here. Uh, another file that I would recommend you download is this mtl.txt file. And this contains all of the metadata about the image. So for example, the coordinates of the bounding boxes of the image, the scale factors for converting the, the digitized reflectance into actual surface reflectance and temperature values, and uh, all, all sorts of metadata like the date of the images, the exact time, uh, the position of the satellite, and all of that uh, that you might need. So it's good to download this as well. All right, so once, uh, once you've downloaded a particular image, if I want to download several of the same, of the exact same scene, but on different times, it's worth taking note of the path and the row number. So these two numbers specify a particular location of a scene. So then if you want to find the scene again, or if you want to find the same scene, but at different times, then uh, make sure that they all match the row and the path number. And this is also included in that metadata file that I mentioned, and it's also in the file names, so you can't miss it. Um, another nice thing is that once you know the row and the path of the image, if you later on want to find that again, you don't have to go through the search here and, and click on the button. Uh, if you go back to search criteria under geocoder, oh, and this is the, the image download dialog, so I'm going to cancel that for now. So instead of clicking on the image for a point, we can come here and select row and path out of this drop-down menu, and we can input the row and the path number. Right, so for this image, it was 233074. So if we type here 233 and 074, and then we click on show, that'll get us uh, exactly that uh, those images. So when we click on results again, we will only see images that have this row and path number, right? So that makes it easy to filter by location. And uh, that's it. So if you want to also, for some reason, if you want the panchromatic band or if you're uh, uh, looking for the top of the atmosphere reflectance, then what you have to do is in data sets, you have to also select here Landsat Collection 2 Level 1 data. And then you can select Landsat 8 Collection 2 Level 1. So when we go to results, there's also a level one here on the drop-down menu. So it won't show you level one and level two at the same time. So you have to be able to select and you can tell by the file, if it says L1 here, then that's a level one file. If it says L2, it's a level two file. All right. So hopefully that, that should be all you need to know to be able to download imagery for from the, uh, the USGS Earth Explorer website, Landsat 8 images, and so on. Thank you.